brief from Nissan was to explore excitement. And in particular, what could we do to understand how fans watch the game and enjoy the game of football. Now, the equipment needs for this study primarily centered and focused on heart rate monitoring. Um, so heart rate monitoring like you might see in a person wearing it in the gym, uh, a chest strap heart rate monitor, uh, had to be accurate enough, of course, to get high quality data, but also practical enough to be worn during the football match. And we layered that heart rate data at the chest with a redundant sensor also on the wrist. Uh, the nice thing about the wearable technology field is it's expanding very, very quickly. And so sensors that were once cumbersome and full of wires are now shrunk down into the size that it's available in a wristwatch. And that allowed us to get closer to the fans to understand their physiological response, which allowed us to drill down for Nissan in terms of what is really driving excitement. Once we had been to all the UEFA Champions League football matches and collected the data, we then had to layer the data on top of each other to find the physiological responses during the matches. So we took the blood volume pulse, the EDA, which is the electrodermal activity, and the accelerometric data from the Empatica E4, which was worn on the wrist, and we took the breathing rate and the heart rate data from the Zephyr Bioharness and layered those two data sets on top of each other to try and find some physiological responses. So the key elements that we use to develop the Nissan Excitement Index are kind of variables that most football fans would be able to hypothesise that would be in there. But what we were able to do was confirm it using objective data that we collected out of the UEFA Champions League football matches. So the main variables are goals, uh, the time of those goals, the presence of star players across both the home and away teams, the fullness of the stadium, uh, the UEFA ranking of the team, and the number of yellow and red cards that happen during the game. If we were to collect further data at further matches and therefore have a greater data set, we could be able to tease out things like the rivalries between the two teams and also the journey that different fans go on in terms of whether they watch the game in the stadium or whether they watch it at home with their friends.